All right, hello everyone. We're back for a shootout. Now what I'll usually do on this hole is about plus 10% in this situation and use my max number. Now what you're also gonna see me do, maybe use just about one top spin is usually my go-to for what I'll try to do here. And I might just, you can see that I'm kind of playing the right hand side and just gonna use kind of the slope a little bit. That's kind of how I like to do this. And here I'm going to use the max number Additionally, like I said, so 7.2 rings here. Ah! So the great ball probably is going to take me out of this shot. We'll see. It's going to end up swinging much more towards the left. That's not too bad. Not too bad. So what I'll usually try to do is use a little bit of that side hill. I don't want to get too high up on the left-hand side, as you can see that I did with that great ball. It ended up getting it too far to the right. I, I thought it might even dip up into the fringe and then shoot over about two yards. Got a little fortunate break there. Um, still going to be a very, very good chance, especially if my opponent knows uh, you know, a lot about uh, rings and how to play this hole. Uh, it's just not good enough for a straight wind. Uh, you, can, you can basically ace this one 80% uh, of the time with that wind. It's very straight. All you need to do is, um, you know, one of the things that I don't do is you can see where he's landing a little bit shorter. I don't like landing there. It can be a little iffy the way that it lands. Um, I didn't really count his rings how he played it, but, uh, ooh, he didn't go enough rings. So out of bounds there. Um, I don't know if he's too familiar with that shot. Maybe he's not, but, uh, you know, hopefully he can learn from that, uh, you know, if he's not. Uh, clear on well versed on how to do that or maybe you know he'll even come out check out my channel <laughs> and you can see you know if I switch this over to for instance a sniper uh, you know I can do this just for you guys so you can see it it would have been 10.1 rings for example so that's one of the biggest benefits to this app is oh, I went to the bag on accident you know no matter what you're using Viper 5.5 um, it's just very easy conversions. Hammerhead 7.7, .7, for instance. I'm going to go back to my uh, Guardian 5 right now. But you can see that I'll just keep using that max number for my ring adjustments. And they'll all be equivalent uh, you know, ways to go about doing it. So good luck with that hole, guys. And catch you guys on the next one.